so here is our maxillary right canine and i'm very sure that at the end of this video you will be able to carve a one like this so just follow the steps along with me so on your wax block first mark the markings for a crown part okay and then for the root part as well now we will name each the surfaces okay first is labial then distal opposite to labial is our palatal and opposite to mesial is distal now i will measure the mesio distal dimension which is 7.5 mm approximately and then i will mark it on the labial as well as palatal surface now i'm drawing two lines from our markings okay which are diverging occlusally okay and converging cervically after that just start reducing the wax from this region Now I will mark the labiolingual dimension approximately 7.5 mm. Now I will just start reducing the extra wax just like we did on the labial as well as palatal surface. Guys if you find this video helpful then please do hit the like button and let me know in the comment section that which video you want next So now I will draw a line in the middle of the labial surface of our crown part as well as on the root part okay so it will demarcate that a root tip on the labial side as well as the cusp tip Now as you know that on the labial surface we have mesial slope and distal slope but distal slope is longer than the mesial slope so that's how you have to draw it and then start reducing the excess wax So I hope you can demarcate the longer distal slope and shorter mesial slope. Now we will reduce the wax from the palatal side as well. See the amount of pressure and the strokes which I am giving to reduce the wax, okay? Now I will make a slope over here at the junction of these two surfaces to make a prominent labial ridge.
now we will round in the uh, palatal aspect from the cervical part Now this part is important guys where I am making the lingual fossa okay so I am drawing two lines on the mesial as well as the distal surfaces Here I am using the posterior end of our Lacron's cover to deepen and shape in it. Now we'll begin with the root carving. I'm drawing it at the back so that it will give me an idea that how much wax I have to reduce, okay? And as in the picture, you can see the shape of the roots. So I'll draw it accordingly on all the four surfaces, okay? And then we'll start reducing the excessive wax. Now we will mark the cervical line and make it well defined. and yes it's done so if you are new to the channel please guys consider subscribing it because dental woman is all about dentistry and dentist and i create videos which add most meaning to your dentistry life